gave me the Tiana ticket. So cute! Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name's Tiffany and we are at Epcot! I'm so excited! I'm here by myself. I've done Disneyland Paris for myself so I'm not as afraid as being alone at Disney. Obviously Disney World is way bigger but I'm confident being in the park by myself now. So we're starting in Epcot today. I do have the park hopper ticket so I can um, move around after 2 p.m. Because as of the time of filming, park reservations and things are still a thing. By the time I post this video, it would be mid-January, so they will be gone, park reservations and things. But I'm so excited, it's December 30th, so Festival of the Holidays is still on. But I'm gonna just walk around and just get started. So let's dive right in. And here she is. Spaceship Earth, Epcot will always be my favourite park and I'm excited to see how it looks now without all the construction boards and things because last time we were here there was still a lot of work being done so it'll be nice to see how it looks now. Apparently it's like at full capacity today. Oh look at my shadow. <laughs> anyway here is the sort of wait times. Living with the land, wow that just went up by 20 minutes. I was actually just looking at that when I was in the Uber on the way here. So yeah it is looking kind of hectic. Wow, soaring over California. It's 125 minutes. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Not sure we where to start even. <laughs> Let me just start walking. This is the thing about arriving at this time. It is 1.31 in the afternoon. I'm definitely not a rope drop girly, but maybe <laughs> if I want to get loads of stuff done, I need to be, because it is super packed everywhere. Like I've never seen a queue for Spaceship Earth like this. Never. There is still some construction walls. I don't know why I thought they'd all be down, but I'm gonna make my way towards living with the land, soaring, all that jazz. And I'm peckish for something sweet too. So I'll see what there is to nibble around the world. So the land and soaring are that way. Soaring's got about two hour wait. Living with the land, 40 minutes. So I think I might just walk around the world showcase get snacks and things for now because hopefully the times will go down in a bit when everyone starts park hopping at two. Okay so I've accidentally started in Canada. Usually I like to start in France. I wondered why I felt like I was going backwards. I'm literally in Canada. Okay I don't know if I should just keep following the way. Half the people actually I'd say 60% of the people are going the opposite way from me. I just have to move to the right side then everyone is going heading this direction but still it feels weird. I've never gone this way around before. I was able to stop for something sweet, so I had half of a giant donut from Joffrey's, the giant pink ones, and this huge peach iced tea. And they didn't ask if I wanted small, medium or large. I did wonder. I wonder how big it will be. This is way bigger than I ever imagined. But I've got through more than half of it, but this will give me the energy to face the rest of the world. The wait time for... The wait time for living the land has gone down considerably, so maybe I'll head back to that. It's only 15 minutes. And then the soaring, that's reduced as well. Maybe it'll get even lower by the time I finish with living with the land. Debating. This is a good thing about being by yourself. You can do exactly what you want to do. I can either go back or just keep going around the world. What to do, what to do. I decided to go back to the land. Hopefully I can see the holiday overlay for living with the land oh my gosh and the time it took me to walk here it's gone up by 10 minutes it's now 25 but hey ho not that bad i confirm it oh my gosh make that 35 minutes it now says on there i just got in line now i feel like everybody saw that it was like 15 minutes and we all just ran down because it is now showing 35. It doesn't look too bad though. I just started a stopwatch. So we'll see how long it actually takes. It's been a minute basically at the front now. And it's been... I'm already going to have to go in row 7, okay? Thank you. Friends, unfortunately this boat isn't quite ready yet. So we're going to get you guys on the next one. Welcome to a voyage of discovery and awareness of the richness, the diversity, and the often surprising nature of living with the land. Join us as we ring in the most bountiful time of the year. 
farmers in Central America have cultivated cacao to make chocolate. So I finished with living with the land. Oh my gosh. I'm so tired. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know if it's because I've just not slept much in general, but I've been literally like nodding off like this, literally standing in the queue for the ride. And on the ride, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just went to the bathroom. I just thought, okay, just splash my face with a bit of water. I just need to wake up a bit. I forgot to pack my caffeine tablets, so that doesn't help. I spoke to my dad, he said maybe I should have a coffee. But if I have a coffee, I know I won't sleep tonight, so I can't risk that. And then ending up in the same cycle tomorrow when I go to Universal, then being shattered there because I've not slept all night. So just gonna power through. Wait times, everything else, still about over 100 minutes. I'm gonna do a walking around the world showcase now. It's four o'clock, we yeah, just gone 4 p.m. So I'm gonna walk around the world while it's still bright because it's not well lit at night, if I remember correctly. So I'm gonna do that and then try the rides later. There is a shop there, Port of Entry, but I think I wanna wait until till towards the end of the day to do any shopping so that I'm not having to carry it around. But I definitely do wanna get some things while I am here. And here is the giant Christmas tree. Also, I've been saying I was gonna enter through France, isn't it? Is it Mexico that you start instead of Canada? Maybe it's Mexico. I actually need to get a park, park map, you know. I could see everybody with park maps everywhere, but I'm wondering where they got them from. And just like that, I found a park map. I could take as many as I want, so I took two. One to use and then one to stick inside my journal. So I am around here, I think. Yeah, around here, because Mexico is just around the corner. Cool, so I'm gonna make my way around the showcase because the sun is starting to set now. I did look at this, but there's a 35 minute wait and I wanna walk around the world before it gets too dark. But just look, I'm now realizing that I don't think I've done Disney um, before the New Year's before, or I say not before, as in the not in the recent years that I've done it. We usually do it after New Year's, so I think it's definitely a lot quieter. So I will bear that in mind for future because it is just crazy here. Absolute madness. It's such a beautiful day. I saw a little bit of the show um, with the, some of the Frozen characters. The Frozen ride has again got like another two hour wait, so I'll have to skip that. The line for Frozen Ever After is so long, it's literally falling out of the attraction. But I just wanted to walk around because I've actually not walked around this area much before. Literally all winter jackets. Ooh. This is cool. Fun fact, I have been to Norway once as a kid. It was a stop on a cruise that we went on. I don't remember much, but at least I can say I've been. These are some cute ears. Is that what you said? From Norway. Oh. This is so cute. Next stop is China. Some of the menu as we enter our next section. I might actually stop and get something to eat here. Hmm. Chicken fried rice looks good actually. Maybe I'll try that. So here's what the combo looks like. It cost, does it say? Um, nope, but I think it was about $15. So you get chicken fried rice, vegetables, and an egg roll. That was a decent meal. I had to get up, it was starting to get packed in there. I think I came in at the perfect time before it got busy. However, I don't know why I had Chinese food. I literally had Chinese food before I came here. I didn't think far. <laughs> so when I was eating, I thought, oh my gosh, I've had Chinese literally already today. Why am I having it again? But either way, it was still like a decent sort of meal. Oh, House of Good Fortune. I might have a quick browse in there. I want to look at all the different shops now in each different pavilion. Ooh, tempted to get a fan. Because we love it when we're like at parties and stuff. Having a fan is the best to cool down while you're dancing. They look very cool. Okay, let me keep making my way around the world. There's a few different like Christmas market kind of things here. All these little booths and things with different merch for the festival of the holidays. Oh, 
And some music going on there too. Ooh. I think we are arriving in Germany. Oh yeah, we're in Germany now. Italy. I do want to have a little look. It's so beautiful here, but so busy. I don't know what to do. It's just getting like a bit overwhelmingly busy. And part of me is like, no, you've paid so much to be here. Don't just tap out and leave. The other half of me is like, hmm, I've got two more days of tickets booked. Why don't I just come back again, but early this time when it's not like this? It's just insane. The American Adventure. I realise that's probably why it's so busy still. The festival of the holidays is still going on. And as I said, I usually come in the new year, so maybe it will be less busy when this is ended. But yeah, here's all the choir kids get ready to go down with this whole thing. I watched this on YouTube already. Next up, Japan. Again. <laughs> can't see it. It's just, I, I know I've said it a million times, but I actually just can't go over how busy it is. I've never been to a park when it's like full capacity. Ooh, I might have to take a picture here. I was looking to see if I should park hop to Animal Kingdom, because I was thinking of doing the safari, but I didn't realise that it closes earlier in the day, so that's good to know for future. Because my mum, she loves to rope drop. So we'd always rope drop um, Animal Kingdom and start with that at literally like 8am. But good to know, because I've never done it in the evening. I'd never thought to look what time it closes. But at least I know for future now. Now we're in Morocco. Again, I'm just going to keep walking now. I'm starting to get a bit tired. And I'm realising that if we're doing Universal tomorrow and actually want to get there early, I probably should... Um, not stay out too late tonight. I'm definitely not staying for any of the nighttime things. I've got two other nights that I can do that. But oh, I think we're near France. To be honest, I'm not sure if there's any ride I want to do in France. Remy's. I did um, the Ratatouille ride in Paris, so I'm fine with that. But I want to see. I saw in it's still like over two hours. I just, mate, I don't know. I don't know if I should just hold my L, learn my lesson and come early next time or just firm it and wait a couple hours for the next. Or maybe just park hop and walk around another park. The way I don't feel like I've wasted the day. Because I feel like if I leave now, I feel like I've wasted the day. Maybe if I park hop, there's experience somewhere else. I might feel a bit more fulfilled. I will have a look. Oh my gosh, so cute. I will have a look at the gift shops in France. That's where I've got one of my favourite ears from. How cute is this? They definitely have the cutest merch here. Like, just look how stunning these ears are. Look at Minnie. It was noisy in there because they were engraving um, Dior perfume bottles. So if you buy a perfume from there, they were engraving it with different decorations. It actually looks really nice. Yeah, it says complimentary engraving on that sign from Dior. It was beautiful. See the skyliner. All I know is I want to be on it. <laughs> I don't know where it's going to take me, where I'm going to go. But maybe somehow I can get on there. Maybe to a resort or something, find my way to another park and then call it a day. I'm really debating what to do. Um, Soaring over California, 65 minute wait. So just over an hour, that's the best I've seen it all day. But it's also six o'clock. My feet do hurt a little bit and I have to be up early tomorrow. I'm really debating whether I should just call it a day and then next time I come, come a lot earlier in the day or just try and make the most of today and just um, take a caffeine tablet tomorrow morning and get through the day. Skyliner, I do definitely want to go on that just because I love it so much. 
I might just go on there and then call it a day and then give it my all for my next two Disney days. I watched the most beautiful sunset from the Skyliner. I was in there with like seven other people, so I didn't record. Although I did try to record on my phone and the flash turned on, it was so awkward. But I got off at the next stop, which was the Riviera Resort, because I saw that soaring has gone down to 40 minutes. So I'm just gonna look around here quickly and then make my way back to Epcot. Go on soaring, that way I can say I at least did two rides today and then make my way back. I don't think I've stayed yet. I've never stayed at a Disney resort in Disney World before. But when I do, I think this will be my first one. Oh my gosh, I think what happened last time with um, Living With The Land happened, I thought it was 40 minutes. So just, about, just as I was about to head back, it just went up to 70. I'm not waiting 70 minutes. Let me just go home. Yep, I was absolutely right to not turn back. It's literally gone to 80 minutes. 40 minutes I could have handled, but not double. Not at all. Anyway, I'm at the Riviera Resort. It is lovely in there. It smells divine. I had a quick look around the gift shop, but it is just too packed in there to like vlog. I'm gonna get my Uber from here because it's actually cheaper to get the Uber from here than it was from Epcot, which is even better. But yeah, I'm gonna make my way home now. I just got back from the park. Oh my goodness. I was boasting about how much cheaper it was to get an Uber from the Riviera Resort instead of Epcot and I wish I just got it from Epcot because no driver wanted to come to Riviera. It took me about half an hour and 10 like cancelled trips before I finally got an Uber. I think it was more, I stopped counting the time of how long it took out half an hour anyway, it definitely took longer. But one lady finally came and got me. I don't know what it was, but no driver just wanted to come there. They'd accept the trip and then cancel it two seconds later. And I kept seeing the same driver doing it. I was like, please, if you don't want me, let somebody else take me. But yeah, finally made it back. What a day. Moral of the story, get to the parks early. I see why people rope drop. I know they always say like, <laughs> go there early so you can get more done. But now that I've experienced waltzing in at like 1.30 and seeing how busy it was, yeah, I now see why people make an effort to go early. Well, let me put the camera at a different angle. But I should have known from when I tried to book the tickets. So originally I tried to book like the seven day pass from the UK and it sold out. So that should have told me that it was going to be busy. Um, plus my friend tried to make a park reservation today and there was just none available. So that should have told me how busy it was. But I did have some errands to run in the morning so I can't be mad at myself. I do have two more days of tickets. One day I can do a whole full day so that one I will plan properly. The other day would be another half sort of day like I've done because I'll be going to Fantasy in the morning with my brothers. So now I will make more of a game plan. Tomorrow is Universal Studios anyway. We've done that a million times and there's no park reservations, anything like that. So I'm happy to just go there and just do whatever you want to do. Um, so I, I do enjoy that leisurely style of Universal. But the day after I'll go back to Disney and then I'll plan everything properly. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope this is part four, part three of this series. As you can see, I'm so tired. As soon as I walked in, my brother said, you look fried. I thought, yes, I do. Probably did like 20,000 steps today walking around. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hopefully I will see you in the next vlog. Thanks.